Dems convince themselves that pet policies beloved by left wing Twitter activists will broadly were brought will be broadly popular even when polls suggest public opinion is mixed at best. Now third way, the neoliberal group put this out. New polls show party out of touch with voters. Like they had a nerve to say that, but they are lying just straight up. So let's break down the language used against progressives in this article. Out of touch priorities, they said. Out of touch ideology, they said. Out of touch values, they said. The saving grace, mainstream Democratic candidates. Really, third way? Mainstream Democrats save the day? I don't think so. Third way, you're lying. There comes a point when you just got to point out they're lying. So embarrassing considering progressives had several wins yesterday. Let's put this up, Hannah Trudeau. The entire Bernie Sanders aligned wing of the Democratic Party won tonight from Fetterman in the Senate to the new squad members in the House. Hello, somebody. The progressive wing of the party quite literally flipped its most consequential swing states. How about that third way? Hard to see how this doesn't change Dems electability calculus moving forward. But you know what? With groups like Third Way continuing to lie, they will find a way to try to explain this away. Reminder, policies that people really want in this country without regards to their political leanings, what most Americans support, Medicare for all, free college tuition, raising the minimum wage, and legalizing marijuana. Did you hear that third way? I want to bold it, I want to underline it, underscore it, put it in a message in a bottle for you, just in case you don't understand. And let me remind you that 69% of Americans support Medicare for all. 69% of Americans support Medicare for all. Third way, you suck. Let me be the first to say it. Because middle of the way policies get people killed. When they can't afford their prescription drugs, when they can't afford to see a doctor when they need to, when they can't unionize, when corporations are making so much money and robbing the prospects of the everyday person in this country. Third way, you suck. Adrian. Yeah, tell them how you really feel. No, but for real though, it's like they're coming out pointing fingers every which way, but in a way and direction that aligns with accuracy and facts. And the thing is, is that there are so many people out there who do want things that are in their best interest, in society's best interest. They want us all to thrive. And so to try to detract from that, it just it really seems very disingenuous. And to have publications out there pushing pushing that message. It just divides us and pulls us apart as opposed to has us focus, unite our efforts and moving forward in a direction where we can do the best for everyone. Just forward. Doing the best for everyone. Adrian, I don't understand why having Medicare for all, allowing people to unionize without being retaliated against because of their bosses, legalizing marijuana, descheduling it. You know, making sure that the people who bore the brunt of the war on drugs, I, those kinds of things. I don't understand why organizations like Third Way and others would say that the majority of American people don't want that when it is very clear that they do want that. Third Way, you suck. Let me just say that one more time, just in case you didn't get that message. 